Hey guys, Churchy here. Um, so between the bunch of updates since I last played Starfield and some of the mods and stuff that have been popping up, um, I thought I might jump back in and give it a little bit of a go. Um, and in particular, there was a mod pack that I came across that I really wanted to try out, uh, which was Odyssey, because I was looking on the Nexus for different mods and seeing what was up. And um, a lot of the mods I was looking at that I was just gonna download individually, uh, they eventually led me to the Odyssey uh, pack by Ixion, uh, Ixion. And basically there's a bunch of mod authors in this pack. There's a bunch of mods, like 70 plus mods, um, and they aim to do a lot of nice things. Uh, I'll quickly rattle off some features, rebalance difficulties, no more bullet sponges, drastically improved combat AI, improved stealth gameplay, jetpacks now work with press and hold, improved vendors and loot, plenty of fixes to vanilla bugs and issues, and there's a bunch more. There's UI improvements, instant main menu launch, drastically improved the responsiveness of all menus. That's a massive, massive one. Um, I've noticed that a lot. Uh, a complete rework to the interfaces, thanks to Star UI inventory, Star UI hard, Star UI, all the Star UI stuff. Um, improved all menus to be more compact and easier to navigate. Um, graphics, remove the washed out look of the base game with new LUTs. Drastically improved the overall look of the game with a reshade. Custom tweaked for Odyssey. Texture enhan enhancements for a wide variety of objects and effects. So that's the basic rundown. Um, a lot of this stuff kind of sits in the background like it's not stuff you're necessarily gonna notice a lot uh, directly but it's just a lot of subtle improvements to the game um, and combined with like with all the updates that Bethesda have just done themselves um, like adding field of view sliders and stuff and DLSS and all of that and then with Odyssey on top of that um, coming back to Starfield it's just been it fe it's feeling uh, a lot nicer. Um, it's still definitely got its flaws, there's still flaws in the way it's designed and all of that, but a lot of these mods just remove some of the headache or just lessen the headaches of some of the menus and stuff by quite a margin, which is really, really nice. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of improvements. But anyway, this video is just going to be some gameplay of me just like playing through a bit of the start and just kind of roaming around and fiddling with some things and just seeing what I can get into. So. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will catch you later. Peace. Nice. Menu is looking good. Oh yeah, it's much better. Oh, that's so much better. Dude. Sick. Out we go! Onto the planet's surface. Yeah, it's all looking good, running well. To the frontier. 
All right, it's all looking good, running good. Let's go, Captain Gray here. Let's go. Creed, let's go land at Creed. Look at all these critters. <laughs> Aliens dead now, son. Looking good, looking good. I'm all on Ultra now and everything, so... They've definitely improved the performance and these, this mod collection also seems to have been... I don't know... Making things look good, run well. <laughs> all the UI stuff's great. Field of view. Ah, here we go. Put that up to 90. I love that that's actually in the game now. Man, this combination of like updates plus having the uh, the Odyssey mod pack going is just making it that chunk better, you know? Just straight up. I mean, it's obviously still got its faults, but a lot of them are lessened and there's just, you know, things feel feel better, feel good between the updates and everything, you know, like my performance is better, things are looking better. It's just a good time, you know, I'm feeling good. All right, let's do it. Screw you, pirates. Oh shit. Reload. Help me, Vasco. Also, yeah, I think I have less health. They have less health. There's less sponginess. Um, part of the like combat fixer upper that are in steep mining space today. Eh? Mm, don't mind if I do. I think the economy's reworked a bit and stuff too. Give me that sweet, sweet loot. Ooh. Picking up all the loot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get him. Get God. Space trucker bar duds. I am not picking up the enemy on my scanner. Warning. Enemy activity detected. Captain, the enemy is here. Pew, pew. There are more enemies remaining. Ooh. I remember that guy. In there. Uranium fever's gone and got me down. Oh, there's another. Just chilling on the table. So one of the things is the uh, the combat AI is meant to be a bit better. Um, I don't know if I'm noticing it yet, really. Um, I definitely like that things are less damage spongy. Um, I guess maybe they're slightly better. I don't know. It's hard to tell this early, I guess. Ooh, don't know what happened there. 
few little odysseys. Should actually eat some food. Crafting stuff. Pharmaceutical lab. Bandages, nice. Why not? Okay, that menu all felt quicker too, I think. That's like, I, I don't think I'm crazy. I think that was like way quicker to interact with. No one's getting oh, I'm gonna get through. Don't you worry about that. Pew, 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 pew. Haha, <laughs> lit him on fire. <laughs> Let's back up the tough talk. Have some grenades. Losers. <laughs> Destroy. Ooh, Let's go cause some pain. Shit. Back to the ship. Let's go. Cancel the adventure, Vasco. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of the Away we go. Don't worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Alpha Centauri. Oh man, that all feels way quicker. I like that. Go, grab jump, go! I'll just be selling stuff at your kiosk real quick. I want to see how the performance is in this area. Man, it's all looking good, hey. Looking pretty good. I know that one of the mods made that clearer to read. Like, there's a lot of, like, subtle little mods included in the pack. Um, and, like, that signage as well. So that's pretty cool. Cool little details, just add a little bit, you know, a little bit of extra clarity to some things. Always nice. Now, my frame rate's dipped a little bit, I can feel that it has, but honestly it's still, like, pretty good. Compared to, I think, some ways it has been before in this area, so... Or it's probably it could be about the same. I don't know. We Welcome to Constellation. You'll probably see their we eyes. To talk about. Um, their eyes look Would a bit you better. Would to tell us what happened to our friend? Which is a mod Why you're as well. And he isn't. There's a couple of mods playing around with the eyes. I think like fixing some ambient occlusion, and I think there's like an eye mod as well on top of that. But yeah, but yeah, I think um, there's some very there's like some basic um, like lighting stuff like LUTs and shade uh, reshade thing but I think even just that the simple sort of thing that they've got going has made it just pop that little bit more like visually things just look that a little bit nicer or at least that's what I'm noticing um, not sure how much that comes through on YouTube but uh, yeah it definitely looks pretty dang nice and there's a few things that have added like nicer effects and stuff so I don't know if that fire is like the default one, but yeah. 
but man, everything's looking uh, looking quite nice. It's pretty good mod pack so far. It's a lot of just uh, there's a lot of just like background stuff and like quality of life stuff and just you know new better menus and everything. Um, a bunch of different mod authors, uh, but yeah, it's it's a really nice pack so far. Really enjoying it. I can actually just afford that. So, I mean, I've straight up just instantly got myself a big badass gun. Um, maybe the economy's a little imbalanced, but... Yeah, maybe, but also it's not... I don't know. Like... Yeah, the weapons and stuff, it's... I feel like it's pretty easy to get good stuff anyway. If y'all got any of the ammo I need... What do you got for sale? Please. Should I bought my fancy gun from you? Ooh, nice. That's that's another one on the list of like cool tactical arms to get. I think I kind of want this guy to be a bit of a like scandrel -y mercenary type. All right. Yep, nice. 42 of those rounds. Let's wander outside the city limits briefly. I think there might be like better grass and stuff as well. That's another another mod. Just another thing to add to the list. There's quite a few mods in the collection. Oh, a corrosive gas vent. I see critters. I'm officially outside the settlement. Hey, critter. Prepare to get got. Kablamo. I got an affliction. Ouch. Pneumonia. Oh no. Aha. My lung infection has been cured. You can fit way more than 2,000 credits in an Ashton, moron. Rookies. Nice. Full Eclipse set. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, chuck that bad boy on. Hide the helmet in breathable areas. Sick. Already looking like a badass merc. Time, time to go and uh, finish off their ship. If I can get on board. Yeah, let's mess them up. Take all that shit. Surely there'll be some goodies back here. Here. Well, on the in the computer area. Good day, lads. Oh, 
Reloading. Stagger and Grendel, nice. I'm out of here, because I don't think it'll let me take the ship. But we'll see. Yeah. That's still still a thing that happens. Always bugged me that you can't like commandeer the ship. Like <clears throat> But I guess, you know. I mean balance wise I can see it, but freedom of like, you know, killing stuff and taking their ship would be so cool. Yeah, you guys can chill. Unless you want to try and fight me. Oh, they're in sync. Look at them go. Well, I might just uh, take off and head over to like Neon or something. Just check that out briefly. And then that's probably going to do it. To the cockpit. It's cool, the the faster map thing, like, they've shortened the length of certain key presses and stuff. And god, it just feels awesome. Because it's like, there's still the loading screens and all that, and there's still all that delay between areas and stuff. But it's, they've softened the blow. Because it's just way faster to do certain things now. So it makes it like... It's less annoying. Like, it's still, you know, obviously it's still flawed. The, the system of this is still flawed, I would say. Um, but yeah, the mod, the mods that are making the UI stuff faster are definitely um, lessening the, the annoyance that it causes. Alright, let's exit the ship. But yeah, this is looking pretty good, like, I gotta say. But yeah, I just want to check out Neo because it's one of my favourite spots in the game, so. Here I am, back in Neon. I think things might be a bit less bloomy, maybe, I don't know. But it's all looking good, you know. It's running quite nicely. I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. And I may come back and play more. And kind of experiment more with the stuff that the mods added but yeah no all in all uh it's pretty sick it's the the odyssey mod pack guys definitely definitely worth uh trying it and seeing what you think it just adds like all the best current kind of mods that are going on at the moment um and a lot of it is just yeah like cleaning up the ui and you know making things like easier to see and whatnot and um yeah and just quality of life basically is the name of the game and then yeah there's like some little visual things here and there there's actually a bunch of stuff and then also the other big one is like rebalancing the combat um making ai smarter and all that stuff and making things less bullet spongy uh i think is another part of it but anyway there's there's a big old list of things that it's done but yeah pretty damn cool definitely uh definitely enjoying it but that's gonna do it for me so yeah thank you guys for watching have a good day or night whichever it may be and i will see you guys in the next video peace